Lent is a season of reflection and contemplation that calls us to repentance and to follow in the footsteps of Jesus as he goes to the cross. But Lent doesn't need to be a constant downer where we focus on our failings. It can also be a time when we recognize the joys of belonging, the growth in knowledge and wisdom, the support of the community around us. It can be a time for knowing we need more, that we want more, more Christ, more discipleship, more discipline. This devotional series incorporates many of the themes in our Lent 2022 worship series, Gathered Together. There is space for confession and repentance of sin, but there's also space for encouragement and moments of reconciliation and recommitment. Let us be honest with ourselves and with God. Through it all is the image of the Christ who comes, not to condemn, but to save. Hear this word from the letter to the Romans. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is, the message of the faith that we preach. Because if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and in your heart you have faith that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Trusting with the heart leads to righteousness, and confessing with the mouth leads to salvation. The scripture says all who have faith in him won't be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek, because the same Lord is Lord of all, who gives richly to all who call on him. All who call on the Lord's name will be saved. We like to use the phrase, all means all, but we also like to have control over who's in our group. We put together teams that we root for in school, at home, cliques in the church, sometimes political affiliations. And over the last few years, and it can feel like those distinctions have become more prominent than ever. However, Scripture and Paul consistently come back to this idea of all. In Romans, Paul doesn't say all who are on the membership rolls or all who voted the way that I do or all who root for the Detroit Lions. There's no distinction between Jew and Greek, because the same Lord is Lord of all, who gives richly to all who call on him. It's wonderfully reassuring to know that Christ has stepped over and broken down all of the barriers and obstacles that kept us distant from his love, and at the same time, it's quite disconcerting to hear that what Christ has done wasn't done just for me, but for all. What scandal, Paul speaks. Surely not those who've committed horrible crimes. I mean, surely not my weird neighbors. Surely not the guy who cheated me out of work. Surely not those who have nothing in common with me. It's scandal because it compels us to stop rooting for our team and to begin living for the kingdom of God, a kingdom in which Jesus is Lord. Often the first biblical verse that people know by heart is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that God gave God's only begotten Son. The world. All of it. All. Take a moment in silent prayer and confession. If you're looking to record your journey, you can use a journal of your own or click on the link in the description of this video. Lord Jesus, help us to give thanks that your love extends beyond us. Remind us of the gift we have in your love and guide us so that we might resemble more and more of your love each day. Amen.